goofs. Welcome to our live episode of Movie Snobs. I'm your host, Logan Metcalf. With me, I have... Anthony Chris. Now today, we'll be talking about Spectre, the latest entry in the world-famous James Bond film series. We'll be spoiling the movie in our discussion, so be warned. Bond. James. Bond. What did you think about it? I thought the tone of the Daniel Craig movies hasn't really fit with the classic, like, Sean Connery Bond. Uh, with this one, he was basically doing that, but it's the serious, like, broken man James Bond. It's not wacky, unbreakable James Bond. What did you think about the plot of the movie in, in general? I thought the plot was very goofy. Uh, the, there's this implication in the opening title cards that Spectre has its tentacles everywhere. As far as retcons go, you can do a lot better. They apply that a lot to the previous movies. They suggest that Spectre, in particular Ernst Blofeld, was behind it all. And that did not work for me at all. I don't buy that Blofeld was behind Quantum. A lot like Skyfall, this movie took a lot of elements from previous Bond films. Like, for example, uh, this film is the first time in many, many, many years that Spectre has been a part of the yeah. series. I like that they brought Blofeld back. I love Blofeld. And then I like that they also had the silent henchman because there hasn't really been a very iconic henchman in these past, like, Daniel Craig movies. No, you're right, there hasn't. Uh, I feel like the villains were all better than Blofeld has been. Blofeld was, though. Blofeld is an iconic villain. Christoph Waltz is a great actor. And Christoph Waltz is so, he makes such a great villain. And in that boardroom scene, he makes such a great Blofeld that I was really disappointed with how little they actually used him. One of the big things regarding James Bond film series is the action and the stunts yeah, yeah. and the location, like, shooting. Uh, what did you think about that in comparison with the other I, like, movies? I think the best action scene in this movie was pretty much lifted wholesale from From Russia with Love. And it's the scene on the, the train. The train, yeah. Because the music is totally cut out. All you get are the sounds of this, like, claustrophobic, intense fight in the train. With uh, Dave Bautista. Like, yeah, Dave Bautista, character. the violent, silent henchman. As far as continuing the story of the Daniel Craig Bond, all it's doing is saying, okay, so here's what this stuff was really about. Quantum was actually just this guy. Mm -hmm. Victor Silva was actually just this guy. Yeah. Let's just cross all that narrative stuff off. I thought it was a lot of fun. I liked it yeah. for the most part. Sky falls better. <laughs> Naturally. For this week's future feature, we're going to talk about The Hateful Eight. Got room for one more? Directed by filmmaker Quentin Tarantino, the film is a western banking off his previous smash hit film, Django Unchained. The film is about eight strangers in post-Civil War Wyoming who seek shelter with one another during a nasty blizzard. The film stars such Tarantino mainstays as Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, and Michael Madsen. The film is bound to have witty dialogue, memorable characters, and Tarantino's characteristic bloodshed. Now I'm beyond excited to see all of this when the film comes out January 8th. So if you have agreed or disagreed with our discussion, please let us know at hashtag MovieSnobs on Twitter at ZTVGoofingOff. We'll see you at the theater.